Well, hello, Van in the Box users. This is Henry Clark, Henry Clark's channel. Oh, wait a minute. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> anyway, today, I want to show you guys today, I want to show you guys how, well, you ever notice how, especially up-tempo songs, right, how they sound full? You know, well, sometimes the reason why the songs sound full is because they add extra elements. That's right. They add extra instruments into their song. And even though they may not use them all, they actually add them because it's easier to take things away than it is to add. And also, it helps build some dynamics in certain portions of the song. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I add it. And there's always another way of doing it, right? You know, But this is how I add extra elements into a song to give it a bit more dynamics, especially when you talk about building it up to the hook. And of course, after the hook, when you need to take some instruments out to give you that, that overall dynamic feel. And it's a song I just, I actually just wrote this song last week, so I haven't really totally completed it yet. But I'm just going to show you guys how I went about it and how I started, where I started from with this basic pattern and how I actually built the song up from dynamics and everything like that. So let me head on over to Band in the Box. And of course, I always use, you know, I'm a big doll fan, so I'm going to use some doll integration. But let me show you what I did with a song that was basically a, a, a medium tempo song, sped it up a little bit, added a few extra instruments, and I'll let you hear a little bit of where I'm at right now. I haven't finished it yet, okay, but I'm close. I'm close to getting done, okay? I'm going to get it done, right? Anyway, so I'm going to head on over there. I'll be right over there in a second, okay? Hold tight. Okay, so let's get started. So what I did was I started with a basic pattern. I found a basic pattern I like, right? It was 60 Soul Tracks Band Demo, right? And notice it only has two guitars, drums, and a piano and a bass. So this is what it sounds like. And it also, it was at 110 and it was in the key of C. So this is what it sounds like right now. And I said, you know what, oh, I like that. I think I can do something with it. I think I can do something with that. It's a little slow and probably not in the right key for me, but I need to add some instruments to this to make it a little bit better, right? So what I did was I said, okay, I'm gonna add some other elements to this song and I'm gonna speed it up some, maybe change the key and see what else I can come up with. Now notice, I want you to notice in my window right here, right? Again, I call the song HD, HC Demo 6, right? <laughs> for lack of a creative word, right? So I decided, I said, okay, I'm going to change the key and I'm going to add some instruments, right? So again, notice I've only got guitar one, guitar two, drums, piano, and bass. So what I did was I opened up a new song and this one is, again, this is, this is just, uh, <laughs> it's just another version, right? But what did I do? I changed the tempo to 118. I changed the key to B flat. I kind of like to sing in B flat, you know, and I added an organ this time, right? So again, now I've got guitar one, guitar two, drums, piano, bass and I added an organ. Notice my, there's my organ now. So I've got I've got an organ playing in here now, right? Which is starting to fill it out a little bit, right? This organ is filling it out some. I said, okay, yeah, I like that organ there, right? Again, when am I gonna use it? I don't know yet, but at the same time, I know it's nice to have. So now I've got organ, guitar, one guitar, two drums, piano, and bass, right? So again, I want to add another element to this thing, right? Because again, I want to get it so full, <laughs> you know, that it's just that I can take things away and, and also help build some dynamics, right? So again, that was organ, right? So now I'm going to pull in some strings, right? So now, now you may notice this, right? What am I doing? I'm only playing with one track. I wanted to keep the organ there, but I'm only playing with one track now. And the reason why, I know somebody says, well, you know, maybe you could just do all of these right at once. Nope, I need that feel. So I need that bass to stay the same. I need the piano and the drums. I need those to stay the same to give me that overall feel of what it'll sound like, right? And that's why I'm only playing with one track and making different versions. So now, I, like I said, I'm going to add some strings now and see what some strings sounds like. Of course, there's always a hundred different ways to do something in Band in a Box. This is the way that I do it. It may work for you, it may not. But now I've got some strings here. Notice I've got some strings here now. So now what do I have? I have organ strings, guitar one, guitar two, drums, piano, and bass. And I am making this full. I'm making it as full as I can. So those are my strings. So I added some strings in. I don't take all day with this, right? Added some strings in, right? So now what, when you're talking about up-tempo music, and again, this is up-tempo stuff, right? I thought a sax would be nice. Throw a sax in there, right? Club type situation, right? So I add notes here. I added a tenor sax. I thought a tenor sax would be the right type of sax to add to something like this. So now I've got my tenor sax in here. So I took the strings out in this particular version and added the sax in, right? Now I've got my sax in, right? So again, so what do I have? I've got 
I've got sax, I've got strings, I've got organ, of course, a couple of guitars and everything, right? It's filling up, isn't it, right? But at the same time, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some things later, right? So now I've got my sax in, right? So now what else did I decide to add? I decided to add in, um, I thought a guitar would be nice, to, to a rhythm type guitar, right? I mean, the, the, the guitars are playing a rhythm already, right? I said, well, maybe another guitar, maybe another rhythm will help some. So again, so what am I doing? So I'm adding another guitar in. Will I use it? I don't know. I might, I might not, right? But it's nice to have that in there, right? And this is another guitar that I've added in. Now, I'm not sure I like that one, but I'm going to keep it because I may be able to use it for something later, right? So again, so I've got a guitar in, right? Now, I'm going to add another guitar in. I want that kind of uh, kind of soul rhythm guitar to actually counter the melodies that the guitars are playing right now, right? So I added another guitar in. When I found another guitar I thought I might like, right? And this guitar is electric rhythm and it's kind of from a gospel type situation, right? So I thought I'd add that one in and see what we get here, right? And again, what am I doing? I'm filling this bad boy up, right? So that I can take things away later. But again, I'm filling it right up. And this is another guitar I thought this would be a good fit. Now, I really like that guitar, if you notice. Like I said, I wouldn't have it in the front, right? But I would actually be able to use a guitar pattern like this. There's a nice filler in between when I'm not singing. It, it helps out a lot, right? So I've got that in, right? So now, what's the last thing that I added in? The last thing I added in, I want to put some background vocals in. I don't know when I'm going to use them. I have no idea, right? But I thought some background vocals would be nice to put in. And also, the background vocals can also help you. It can help you with um, being on pitch being a key because the three-part harmony background vocals are pretty cool. Now, there is a difference, and that's that in the song that, I'm, that I've written, background vocals actually say words, and of course, in Band in the Box, it's basically all you get are oohs and ahs. But again, it always helps to have some background vocals in just to see what it might sound like, right? So again, so now if I crank up some background vocals, put some background vocals in there, right? You know, when it when it generates, <laughs> and those are the background vocals, right? So yeah. So now I've got some background vocals in there, right? When am I going to use them? I don't know yet. I'll use them at some point. But what I have done now is I have added background vocals. I've added strings. I've added sax. I've added two additional guitars. And I've added an organ. So I've added all of those things to this mix to try to fill it out, to try to make it sound a whole lot more full, right? So now when I drag all these over to my DAW, and remember, I've already dragged my bass, piano, drums, Tar one guitar tip, I've already dragged those over to my DAW. But I need to drag these other parts over to my DAW. So now when we go to my DAW, and let me bring up my DAW real quick. So now when we go to my DAW, right, I've dragged these over into my DAW. So now I've got bass, piano, real drums, of course, a couple of guitars here. I've got a rhythm guitar here. Didn't like that other guitar, that low guitar. I didn't like that one. I thought I'd keep this rhythm guitar. I've got my organ and I've got my strings in. I've got some extra drums in and I've got my saxophone in, right? So again, always, it was always important. When do I use those things? When do I use them, right? So I thought I'd just use the sax right up front, just right in the beginning of it, just to kind of get people up and moving. I'm not sure I'm going to use this particular sax solo, but this helps a lot when I'm doing this, right? To give me an idea. Oh, I started, I wanted to start it from the very beginning so you can see what it sounds like. So now when a song sounds like, it's got a totally different element to it. Got a sax getting everybody up and running up singing a little bit of vocals trying to get this pattern down. If you notice there's some slight guitar in the background as you can hear. And of course my harmonies on there. Yeah. Oh, I dropped a bunch of stuff on. There is no organ. There are no strings there. Just, it's just a basic rhythm in my background. It's all I'm using. Again, we're talking about dynamics, we're talking about extra elements. Of course, always nice to have some drum rolls in there, right? The drum rolls will crash to add to that, to that dynamic element. And now I'm bringing extra background vocals in here. And I brought my organ in. So now I've got background vocals in, I've got my organ in. This, again, I didn't use the band in the box background vocals, those are my background vocals. And now I'm going to bring my strings in. Strings are playing. Again, I'm filling this song out. See, when I get to the second verse, I'm dropping everything except basic rhythm. Oh. 
organ's gone. The string's gone, you know. Just the basic rhythm band. The piano's down a little bit, and that's exactly how I'm building those dynamic chairs. Right? And again, I bring them back in when I make the first change. So that's exactly how it was done. Again, so what did I do? I took a basic pattern that was at 110 beats per minute in a key of C that only had two guitars, a bass, and a piano. I boosted the tempo up to 118. I changed the key to B flat. And, and anybody, you know, whatever key you want, you want to sing it in, right? But I, I put it in a key that I can sing it in, B flat. And I added organ. I added strings. I added background vocals. I added a couple of extra guitars that I could play around with. And again, all these elements help to actually fill the song out a little bit better, you know. So I think that I, I think that this is actually going really, really well. I think it's a tip that you all can benefit from is doing it that way, just adding those extra elements in, and of course taking them away at the right time, which is really, really critical. So now when I go and I look again, this I had a sax solo in here with my sax solo right here, just coming off the hook. Just, just from a production perspective, I'm coming off of the hook, the second hook. This is the second hook. I'm coming off the second hook. Great time for a nice solo. Look at that sax solo in there. And I kept the organ. I kept the organ and kind of hold the, hold the bottom up for the sax solo is what I did. Right? So again, I can do that. And, and again, it creates a different, 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 different dynamic is what I'm looking for. Sax is gone. Straight back in. So I'm keeping the sax down actually at a low volume and call it an type of session. So that's it. So that's exactly what I did was I brought all those elements in so that I could take them cut and paste and drag and drop and, and bring them in and bring them out and so on and so forth. Hope this helps for you guys. Um, again, I'm talking about song dynamics. I'm talking about bringing extra uh, elements in. And again, if you listen to the original version at 110 beats per minute, you can see that there's a huge difference between where I started at with two guitars and a bass and a piano and drums and 110 beats per minute and where I ended up at up to this point with the key of B flat and 118 beats per minute and all those other extra elements added in. Hope this helps and I will see you guys later. Bye.